Hi, it's Phil Walker, and here's today's tip for working with the AMA guides. You know, a lot of cases that I see involve injuries to the lower extremity. Things like uh, meniscectomies, calf atrophy, muscle problems, even amputations. And they're actually fairly easy to rate by just going to the chart that will tell you what the rating is. But there's one extra step that you've got to use in the lower extremity chapter. And it appears on page 526. And it's called the combining chart. And here's what it means. Let's say you've got a patient who's had a partial medial meniscectomy they've now lost motion in the knee which is rateable and they've also developed atrophy in the calf after this injury what you do is you rate each of those out using the separate charts for meniscectomy range of motion and atrophy of the muscle but then you have to do one more step you have to see if you can combine all three of these to get a total and how do you do that you turn to page 526 where there's a chart that tells you which of these things can be combined. So let me give you an example. Let's say that the partial medial meniscectomy was 1% whole person impairment, range of motion was 4% whole person impairment, and the atrophy was 2% whole person impairment. If you just added them up, that would be 1 and 4, which is 5, and 2 is 7% whole person impairment. But if you go to page 526, you will see that you're not allowed to combine any of these. You can't combine the meniscectomy with the range of motion or the atrophy. So what do you do? You've got a rating of 1, a rating of 4, and a rating of 2 that you can't combine. You choose the highest. And in that case, the rating would be 4% whole person impairment. Now this is one I want to share with you because I see many cases in the lower extremity where doctors fail to take this step and see which elements can be combined. And so if you get that problem, you write the doctor, you point him to page 526, and you ask him whether or not the ratings he's come up with can be combined to get a total. It's just that easy. And you know, you can find lots more information like this in my new book, The AMA Guides Made Simple, which you can get at www.askphilwalker.com. And remember, if you've got any questions about California Workers' Comp or The AMA Guides, don't hesitate to contact me. You can reach me at phil, P-H-I-L, at askphilwalker.com or 877-774-5550 because remember, whenever you've got a question, just ask Phil Walker. I'll see you soon.